Welcome to Trade Pro. Do you ever feel worried that you've entered into a pullback and you aren't sure if the trend is going to continue? Well, this indicator can give you an extremely high probability of trend continuation just by using this simple tactic. And so let's talk about the indicator and the strategy, then go through a bunch of examples so you can see just how well this works. The indicator is called cumulative delta. And this specific one is called delta volume, but what I've done is gone into the settings, turned off everything except for the cumulative delta. I have left all these settings the exact same as default. And there are many different versions of cumulative delta, so you can choose the one that you like the visual of best, but I chose this one because I like the visual best out of the ones that I've seen. This one is called just delta volume by kernel underscore PHI and it's a public library free indicator so you can find it yourself there are of course as i said other versions of cumulative delta that you can choose between so let's talk about the strategy and how this can get you into trends with the expectation of continuation moves and give you a very high probability that the trend is going to continue now the best way to show you how well this works is to just go through a bunch of examples on all the recent price data of euro against the us dollar in a five minute time frame so let's start with this most recent one that still hasn't played out and it is valid, so we'll show it. So what you wanna do is mark the high of the beginning of the pullback. So before the pullback began, and then when you see prices pulled back, you can take a look at the relationship between price heading to the downside in an uptrend and the cumulative delta. So what we see here is cumulative delta is coming up on average in this overall pullback, but we see price coming down. So we wanna see this diverging. We want to see price coming down cumulative delta is either coming up or staying pretty flat and that is going to give us a very high probability that we're going to see a move to the upside out of here in an uptrend of course we'll go through a bunch of downtrend examples as well as we go farther back in the price data so this one could be anticipated that price is going to continue and take out the high right here now we go back to the last example here where we see price pulling back and the anticipation is a higher low compared to this low here and a continuation move for a higher high. So we can draw in that price is coming down here on this pullback, but at the same time, if we look at cumulative delta, it's coming up as this pulls back, which gives us a high probability that we're gonna see this pullback continue to the upside and continue this overall uptrend. Now we'll go back to the last example down here, also in this uptrend where we see this pullback and the anticipation should be a higher low. And that is what happens. We see cumulative delta is coming up compared to the peak and the bottom of this pullback. We see cumulative delta has stayed up and it's pretty stagnant, but it has slightly increased at the bottom here compared to the top of this pullback. And then we see a nice continuation move. Let's go back to the next example here. This one's in a downtrend. So this one is extremely clear. We see this pullback in a downtrend and we see cumulative delta is coming to the downside while this price comes to the upside in an overall downtrend. So if you were to enter into the trend and expect continuation move, you could place your stop loss at the previous pull back within the trend expecting a lower high and then you can target the lows with a pretty good risk to reward ratio. Now we see it again here. This pullback, a smaller one, but this one does the same thing. We see cumulative delta at the bottom of this pullback, and then we take a look at the top of the pullback where we have price increasing, but cumulative delta stays stagnant and actually drops more throughout this pullback. So we can anticipate that the trend is going to continue to the downside. Now let's go to our next example here. We have another one in a downtrend here. So let's just zoom in and we see price pulling back, coming to the upside, but at the same time, cumulative delta is dropping significantly throughout this pullback, which tells us there's a high likelihood that this trend is going to continue to the downside and create a new low for a lower high and a lower low. Now let's go back to another example and we can see this one in an uptrend where we have cumulative delta is increasing, but we have a pullback here coming to the downside. So we can anticipate another continuation move to the upside there. Again, this one as well, we see cumulative delta coming strongly to the upside 
throughout this pullback. And so we can anticipate that we're gonna see a trend continuation move to the upside there. And then we have another one here. And this one's a bit funky, but you can see that the cumulative delta is coming to the upside throughout this pullback or consolidation. And then we get the strong continuation move to the upside in this uptrend. Now we have another one here where we see that the price is coming to the downside, but at the same time, our cumulative delta is coming to the upside. So we can anticipate that we're gonna see a move to the upside here. And let's move on to another downtrending example. So this one, extremely clear. We see price pulling up and cumulative delta dropping off significantly throughout this pullback, giving us a high probability we're gonna see a trend continuation move to the downside after this pullback. And for stop loss placement, of course, you can look at market structure and say that this is the most likely last pullback for a lower high and that we can expect another lower high on this pullback targeting the lows or greater for a good risk to reward ratio. Now, let's move on to another example where on this pullback, we see a similar story, but in an uptrend. So we can expect a higher low compared to this previous low and then a trend continuation move to the upside. And that's exactly what we get. This pulls back, but cumulative delta is coming to the upside throughout this pullback and we get our trend continuation move. We have a couple more here in a downtrend where we see this pulls back Price comes to the upside in a downtrend and cumulative delta is heading to the downside throughout that pullback. So we can expect this continuation to the downside. Another example here, we see that price pulls back sharply, but at the same time, the peak of this pullback, the cumulative delta is lower and coming to the downside overall. So this one likely heading to the downside, which it does. Our next example is way back here. There weren't any trading opportunities in between there, but here's another one. This one, pullback, expectation is lower high and then continuation to the downside. And that's what we get. So price comes up, cumulative delta coming down uh, during this pullback and we have a high probability set up for a trend continuation move, all right? So that's the strategy and how you can use cumulative delta to your advantage in a trend to expect continuation moves. And it gets you in with extremely high probability of a trend continuation move. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked it. And don't forget to like the video, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my links in the description for my Patreon page, Bybit Affiliate, Capitalized.ai Affiliate, and have a great day. Thank you.